Hello, I'm pleased to have Antonio Pietri with us today. Antonio is president and CEO of Aspen Tech. Welcome, Antonio. Thank you, Peter. So, business transformation, industrial IoT, you know, these, these uh, buzzwords have been talked about and these technologies and processes have been in place for many, many years. So what's new today, Antonio, in terms of advancements and convergence? Are these things real? What are you seeing? Yeah, no, uh, good point. Uh, the fact is that uh, if you look at the, the, the process industries in particular, um, you know, going back 30, 40 years uh, with the upgrade from analog systems to digital systems, uh, the process industry has truly embarked on a, on a digital path. And, uh, you know, you saw the modernization of uh, control systems to distributed control systems, eventually advanced solutions, uh, leverage all that data, uh, uh, the internet, mobility, and now today everyone is talking about digitalization. But it really feels like over the last 30, 40 years, the process industries have been on a digitalization uh, path. I think uh, the difference today is a convergence of uh, new technologies that are enabling uh, greater insights uh, from data uh, that wasn't possible before. Uh, certainly the cloud, uh, data lakes, uh, also high performance computer, computing, when, when, you, when you look at the volumes of data that have to be processed to really uh, understand uh, what the data is telling you from a analytics and machine learning standpoint, then, then you, need, you need that uh, computing power. So I think, I think that's the difference today. Uh, the data has been around for 30, 40 years. It's just that now today we have enabling technologies that are making it all happen. Okay, that's good, yeah. So executives around the world are talking about uh, digital transformation and how, uh, how, how this can transform their business. What does this really mean uh, in, in industry t uh, today? What, what is digital transformation? Yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's also a good point because uh, from sort of, we've been in the industry, Aspen Technology, for 35, 36 years now. And, uh, and it feels to us like this is just a series of uh, initiatives that come around um, uh, every, every often. And, uh, and, and I think fundamentally, uh, what our best customers do is really focus on operational excellence. And then under the umbrella of operational excellence, they identified initiatives that continuously drive towards uh, better performance in, in their operations. So when, when we hear a smart manufacturing or, or digitalization or industry 4.0, uh, really, we put that in the context of, of our customers continue to drive towards operational excellence and they're leveraging new technologies. Uh, certainly, we're in the space now of uh, machine learning analytics, but we also have customers talking about leveraging drones for inspection of their facilities, leveraging uh, even autonomous vehicles and so on. So I think it's, it's just a, a new generation of technologies that are being leveraged to drive greater value from the assets that they're operating. Mm. Okay, so the drivers and the opportunities seem, seem uh, very real. Um, but companies are also facing challenges when they, when they embark on a digitalization uh, uh, program. What are the characteristics of companies that are making progress and, and what are the challenges that are they facing? Yeah, I mean, that's a good point because if, if you look at, I mean, there's surveys uh, and studies out there that, that look at companies across a spectrum of industries and, and regions, and, and you see the same uh, performance curve, uh, the, the low performance, lower quartile performers, and the high performance, and it's consistent across regions. So the question is, well, what, are, what, what is the difference between those groups? And, and I think fundamentally, it has to start uh, from our standpoint uh, with uh, organizational readiness, organizational excellence. I mean, technology can do a lot, but we also see that unless an organization is, is prepared, uh, not only to implement, but to sustain the use of the technologies, uh, then uh, they, they fail at this. Uh, when, when there's new ar arrival of technologies, of course, uh, knowledge and understanding of those technologies, and that's what we're finding uh, today with machine learning and analytics, uh, customers are all asking themselves, well, what, what is this? What does it mean? How do we have to get uh, ready for it? Uh, so there's a learning process and education, and, and we're finding ourselves also in, in, in having to educate customers. So, so I think uh, it, it, that organization, that's part of organizational readiness, 
readiness, uh, eventually it's understanding of the technologies and how value is created from those technologies, and, and then it's having the systems to, to take advantage of them. Okay, so the companies that are extracting value from digitalization or digital transformation, the, um, what will be the predominant focus areas in the future for companies that are embarking on a program? Look, uh, from our standpoint, uh, uh, it's always going to be about operational excellence. It's always going to be about extracting more value out of, out of the assets uh, that, that these companies operate. These are capital intensive assets. These are these huge amounts of money invested in this asset. So, so they're always going to be looking is for ways to extract more value. Of course, on their operational excellence then, from our standpoint, I think there's going to be a heavy focus on driving um, uh, asset optimization across the entire asset life cycle. While in the past, uh, certainly the focus started in the design of those assets and then of course a lot of value creation through the operations phase. We believe that going forward is also going to involve the, the maintenance because that's, a, that's an area perhaps with the largest untapped value creation uh, that exists out there. So it will, be, it will be asset optimization where companies are really driving value through the full asset life cycle going forward and not just operations. Mm. And finally, just the one last question, Antonio. How is Aspen Tech helping companies proceed in these areas? Well, let me look, uh, uh, we've put in place a new strategy in the last uh, uh, couple of years. Uh, certainly, we've, we've looked at the strengths of Aspen technology historically um, in the design of these assets, in, in the operations and optimization of these assets, and then we thought, well, what is the natural evolution for, for Aspen technology and for our customers to continue and extend the value uh, chain that, that we're involved in? And, and the obvious place was, was the maintenance space, but, but when we really look at maintenance space, uh, it's not how it's been done over the last 40 years. It is, is what we call the science of maintenance, which is really bringing together uh, that uh, domain expertise, bringing together uh, data, not only real-time data, but uh, also maintenance data and other types of data, and combining that with advanced analytics and machine learning to, cre to create the insights and, and be able to then predict and prescribe when equipment is going to break down, when the process is degrading, uh, because all of that will improve uh, the reliability of these assets. And, and if you look at the value that's been created over the last 30, 35 years, it's been from an operational standpoint, but the big opportunity that still exists out there is driving improvements in reliability. So we believe that the combination of reliability improvements with operations and optimum design will lead to more holistic asset optimization and and, and further operational excellence. Mm. Well, Antonio, thank you very much for spending time with us today. We'll be watching very closely uh, upcoming developments uh, by Aspen Tech. Thank you, Peter, glad to be here. We've been speaking with Antonio Petri, uh, President and CEO of Aspen Tech. Thanks for watching.